claim saying that the spirit is part of the Godhead in Islam because we, we Muslims claim that Allah is one in person and against Trinity. So and slowly, you... slowly, don't get nervous. He speaks slowly. Say Allah is one person, right? Allah is one person, correct. Where does the Quran use the term person for Allah? Uh, it doesn't, but it okay, doesn't. So you're reference. honest. Yeah. That's good. But you're being honest. So it doesn't say one person. That's the assumption on your part. But okay, so. No, but the Quran refers to Trinity. Sorry. Yeah, you Quran, said the Quran refutes what? The Trinity. Give me the verses. Open up your Quran. Show me. Uh, Allah says that they say that uh, God is the third of three. Third of three what? Persons. It doesn't say that. Why are you adding to Why do you? Can I ask you Muslims a serious question? Yeah. The Quran accuses Jews and Christians of twisting the scriptures with their tongues, meaning they misinterpret and add to their books. Yeah. You Muslims are guilty because you do the same thing to the Quran. You add words to the Quran and you butcher the Quran by saying things that's not there. Can you show me? And I'll even tell you what verses you're quoting to me. Surah Al-Maidah 573, where it says, Allah is the third of three persons. Where does it say persons? Or the Arabic equivalent, Aqanim? Well, it's talking about what the Christians believe. Mm -hmm. the Christians say this. The Christians person. do not say Allah is the third of three. Give me a reference historically, archaeologically, Textually, that the Christians before and during and after Muhammad said Allah is the third of three, because I have sources that actually use this as an argument against the Quran. But don't, don't you Christians claim that God is one, uh, three persons? No, we don't say God is one and what? What did you say? Uh, sorry, uh, that God is three persons? Yeah, one but that's one. not what the Quran says. God, the Quran said Allah is the third of three. The third of three what? You said persons, right? Don't yeah. go, don't change the topic. What does the verse say? Five seventy three. They say the they the Christians say that God is the third of three. Can you show me in the Quran what third of three means? I can show you. Read all the way to seventy five. Open up your Quran. Read for me. Uh, Open up Surah Al Maidah, chapter five, verse seventy two to seventy three. Doesn't the Quran say that uh, in four seventy one that do not say three to Christians? Okay, three what? What, because it says God is one. Can you show me a Christian that denies God is one? So you're not addressing Trinitarianism. But let's go first to 573 to see what third of three means. Read 73 to 75. Yeah. All right. Uh, chapter 5. Surah Al Maidah 573 to 75. All right. Uh, let me see. Surely they have disbelieved who say Allah is the third of three. And there is no God but one, God. And if they cease not from what they say, verily a painful torment will befall on the disbelievers among them. Will they not repent to slowly, Allah? So we can hear the Quran. Read it slowly so everyone else can hear you too. So will, they, will, they will, will they not repent to Allah and ask his forgiveness for Allah's forgiving and merciful? The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was no more than a messenger. Many were the messengers that passed away before him his mother was a siddiqa they both used to eat food look how we make the ayat clear to them yet okay. look how they are deluded you see in 75 it mentioned jesus and mary right yeah and it says see how they ate food she was a righteous woman yeah and jesus was no more than a messenger and they ate food see how we make their uh, the signs clear to them about yeah. jesus and mary so count allah jesus and mary is how many three Okay, so why does your Quran mention Mary eating food as a sign to Christians that Jesus and Mary are no more than humans and Jesus is no more than a man? If the Quran is not accusing whoever it is, I'm not going to say Christians, so you say, well, no, 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 the Quran is addressing some other group. Okay, accusing a particular group of people and believing that Allah is the third of three gods and the other two is Jesus and Mary. Why mention Mary eating food as a sign? Isn't this uh, referring to the, if I say it correct, the Coloridians or something? The Coloridians did not exist at the time of Muhammad. <clears throat> they were have... a group. Yeah, you need to give me the proof because you're citing a group, Coloridians, that were mentioned by Epiphanius in the 4th century, 300 years after Christ, which is before the 7th century. What proof do you have the Coloridians existed at the time of Muhammad? I don't, but there's also okay, no... So let's keep it simple. In 73 to 75, Allah is the third of three, and the other two are mentioned, Jesus and Mary. 
Now, can you show me in the Quran where it says they are disbelievers who say Allah is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Or they are disbelievers who say Father, Son, Holy Spirit are one ilah? Because that's what the Christians believed and said. Uh, the Holy Spirit is not mentioned in the Quran as the Christians. As, as one of those that the Christians believe and are condemned for, right? Yeah, but there's also a verse in the Quran where Allah refutes, directly refutes the Christians who claim it. Uh, that Jesus is God, but it does not marry, uh, mention me Mary. It does doesn't, not mention Mary. Doesn't mention the Christian belief in deity of Christ. I know what you're referring to. Chapter five or seventeen and seventy-two doesn't refute what Christians believe or articulate it because in five seventy-two, the same chapter of the Quran, it says they are disbelievers who say Allah is the Messiah, son of Mary. Yeah, but my point is, is that if uh, mm -hmm. Allah really believed that Mary, the Christians believe that Mary is part of the Trinity. Then why does he not mention Mary with Jesus when he said that they claim that Jesus is God? Because the Quran is attacking two different false beliefs because it's in 72 and 73. You don't read your Quran. It's right there. It does the very thing you said it doesn't do. In 572 to 75, let me walk you through it. It first says, they are disbelievers who say Allah is the Messiah, the son of Mary. And then in 73 it says, and they are disbelievers who say Allah is the third of three, and Mary's mentioned in that same context. So what are you talking about? It does mention it. So, uh, but Islamically speaking, the Islamically, uh, Catholics do worship Mary, Islamically speaking. Can you quote me an official statement of the Catholic Church that say that Mary is a God alongside of Allah and Jesus, making it <clears throat> three? No, but uh, if I am correct, sir, it's not referring to what they say with their mouths, but their actions. Well, then that means you also are a pagan because by your actions, you worship Muhammad if we go by that logic. Uh, can you explain how? Yes, because <clears throat> your Quran says that apart from Muhammad praying for your forgiveness, Allah will not forgive you. And you must obey Allah and Muhammad equally because the decision of Muhammad is the decision of Allah. And if you don't follow Muhammad, Allah will not love you. You must accept what Muhammad tells you to accept and reject what he rejects. So if I use your logic, because this is the logic you're using for the Catholics, that it doesn't matter if you say you worship Mary as a goddess, your actions prove otherwise, then I don't care what you say you believe about Muhammad, your actions and the statements of the Quran show, Muhammad is your God. So but, you want to go uh, around? Obeying the messenger means uh, whatever the messenger gave you to worship yes. God and to forbid what haram. But it's more than that. It's not just that. It's more. It's what Muhammad says is what Allah says. What Muhammad decrees is what Allah decrees. Because in chapter 4, verse 80, it says, If you have obeyed the messenger, you have indeed obeyed Allah. And then read chapter 3, verse 31, 32. Read it for me. Uh, chapter 3? Yep, 31 and 32. Okay. So I'm going by your criterion. I want you to hear what you said. The Catholics do not need to say we worship Mary as a goddess, and she's the third of three. By their actions, they worship Mary. Well, by your actions, you worship Muhammad, even though you deny that Muhammad is a god. Read chapter 3, uh, verse 31, 32. They, uh, oh, Muhammad to mankind, if you love Allah, then Louder follow so we can hear you. Loud, so say, we can hear you in slowly. Say, oh, Muhammad, if you love Allah, then follow me i.e. Muhammad, Allah will love you and forgive you your sins. And Allah's forgiving and uh, after forgiving and merciful. Say, obey Allah and the messenger, but if they turn away, then Allah does not like the disbelievers. I'm going to give you now the commentary that the Jews, when they heard this, they said that Muhammad wants us to take him as a Lord, like the Christians took Jesus as a Lord. Let me show you. Yeah, but the, these Jews, the Jews were liars. Oh, you mean all the Jews? So what about the Jews that said that Muhammad is a messenger? He's a liar too? No, everyone who you made this said the Jews are liar. liars. Sorry? You just said the Jews are liars. So if I show you a hadith where Muhammad appealed to a Jew to prove that he's a messenger, that means that Jew is a liar and Muhammad should not have appealed to his testimony because you said the Jews are liars. Uh, I meant the one who made the statement. Oh, so... The good Jews are the ones who agree with you in Muhammad. The bad Jews are the ones who expose Muhammad. I like that. Okay, but here, let me give you the commentary. But did you read what it just said there? It said that, say, if you love Allah, then follow me. Yeah. And then what will Allah do if you follow Muhammad in 331? Uh, 
Allah will love you and forgive you your sins. Oh, so if I don't follow Muhammad, will Allah love me and forgive me? Of course not, because you don't follow God. Okay, so now by your actions, that means you've made Muhammad your savior and a God alongside of Allah, even though you deny he's God and you worship him as God. See, two can play that game. If you're going to accuse the Catholics of that, I'm going to accuse you of that. But uh, Allah says in the Quran, whatever Muhammad says comes from inspiration. Okay, so then someone can tell you that it was Jesus, the Lord, who honored Mary and <clears throat> venerated Mary and exalted Mary for people to honor her and love her as the blessed mother of the son of God, not as a goddess. And if you mm -hmm. dishonor her, you dishonor Jesus. So why would you then falsely accuse the Catholics? Because uh, don't the Catholics, uh, I'm, you can, I'm sorry, you can correct me, but don't they uh, literally pray to Mary? Well, don't you guys pray to Muhammad five times a day? Yeah, but Muhammad cannot hear okay, us. Yeah, say it again. We like we say assalamu alaykum ayya nabiyyu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yeah, and say, so you said yeah, right? Sorry? You said yeah, we do, but he doesn't hear us? Yeah. Okay, so that's even worse. You just admit you pray to a man who doesn't hear you, so you're speaking to the dead. That means you are now contacting the dead. That's necromancy. So you are worse off than what you accuse the Catholics. No, but uh, in the hadith it says the angel grabs the prey and gives it to the prophet. But didn't you just say he doesn't hear you? So he does hear you then. No, but he, when we uh, speak to him and pray, he, he doesn't hear us. Okay, he only hears so an angel makes it known to him? Yeah. One angel? One angel, I have no clue, honestly. Okay, so let's now pl apply, apply your, your logic. Just like you pray to Muhammad and an angel makes Muhammad aware that you're praying to him, when you ask Mary to pray for you, God makes Mary aware. There are people who are asking for intercession, pray for them. So you see how inconsistent you are. You're saying, do you have, yeah, uh, do you have uh, proof from scripture? Oh, you mean I need to show you black and white in scripture that those who are, who are in heaven are alive and perfected and are aware of things that are taking place on earth? I can show you that if they're alive and perfected and God makes them aware of things on earth, that means because of that, if Mary's in heaven, and I know you don't deny Mary's in heaven, she's alive, perfected, and God makes known to her things that take place on earth. So I can say, blessed mother, Pray to your son, the Lord Jesus, to save me because your son is your God and my God. Yeah, I can do that. But I can flip that on you because a lot of what you believe is not in your scripture, the Quran. You still believe it because of extra Quranic sources, right? Like this prayer that you pray to Muhammad. Can yeah. you show me in the Quran where it says pray five times a day? No. Can you show me in the Quran how many raqat you perform for each specific prayer that you pray five times a day? No. Can you show me the tashahud in the Quran that when you pray, you have to perform tashahud where you then say, Assalamu alayka ahiyu nabi. No. So then why would you limit me just to the Bible as opposed to having me look at the history of the church, the disciples of the apostles, those that the apostles appointed to be bishops of the church, and those disciples after them that they appointed to be bishops of the church and the writings they left behind so I can see how the Christian community understood the Bible, explained the Bible, lived out the Bible in their worship of God. So let's be because, consistent. Because they can be fallible, right? In Islam, Muhammad, like his words. Uh, okay, but the people that wrote down what Muhammad wrote are fallible too, like Uthman, right? Yeah. Okay, but you still trust what Uthman did when he burned all the Qurans and standardized Zayed's Quran? Yeah. And you still trust Bukhari, even though he doesn't speak by Wahi? And telling you what this person said, who heard the person before him, who heard the person before him, who heard the person before him. This is what Muhammad said and wrote it down accurately? Yes. Okay, so let's not be inconsistent. Let's be consistent. Now let's go back to the Holy Spirit because look how far off we went. But yeah. before we go to the Holy Spirit, click that link that I just sent you in private chat. All right. Okay, click on it and read for me what the people were saying when Muhammad said, Say, if you love Allah, follow me. Allah will love you and forgive you. And obey Allah and the messenger. He who does not obey, Allah does not love him. See what uh, they said. It's Ibn Abbas, right? Well, 
I think I gave you Ibn Abbas. Let me see. I don't know if it's Tafsir Jalalain. Yeah, I think Ibn Abbas. Yes, you're right. It's Tanweer Al Mikbas meant Tafsir Ibn Abbas. Isn't Put the down. Tafsir Ibn Abbas unreliable? Uh, it's irrelevant whether it's from Ibn Abbas. It's still statements gathered by Muslims that they claim <clears throat> stems from Ibn Abbas, but whether it is from Ibn Abbas or not, the statement is still there nonetheless, telling you what the people thought about this passage, which is the same view I have, that you made Muhammad another Christ to replace Christ. But read it for us. But do you have another source that says this? Okay, friend, if we're going to play yeah. the game of false attribution, I can do that with all your hadiths. Can you just first read it to see whether you accept the source or not? At least you have someone who lied in the name of Allah and his messenger, lied and said, this is what the people said at the time of Muhammad. So you're just saying to me, your people are a nation of liars who make up things and lie and put in the mouth of your prophet. Okay, good. More reason not to be a Muslim. Hmm. But do you want me to read it? Yeah, please. I just gave you the link. Okay. Uh, say, O Muhammad, if you love Allah and his religion, follow me, follow my religion, Allah will love you. He will, increase your, he will increase your love and forgive you your sins, which were committed when you follow Judaism. Allah's forgiving of whoever repents, merciful towards whoever dies in a state of repentance. This verse was revealed about the Jews who claimed they were the children of God and his beloved ones. When this verse was revealed, Abdullah ibn Ubay said, Muhammad is commanding us to love him as the Christians love Jesus. And Abdullah ibn Ubay is not a Jew. He was one of the munafiq, munafikun, who yeah. followed Muhammad in Medina and opposed him, right? Yeah. So what did Abdullah ibn Ubay say about Muhammad? Uh, he, he said, Muhammad is commanding us to love him as the Christians love Jesus. Exactly the same thing I just told you, that this mm. verse makes Muhammad another jesus to get muslims to love jesus, muhammad the way we love jesus now notice the jews what they say finish it uh and the jews said muhammad wants us to take him as a compassionate lord just as the christians took jesus as a compassionate lord so now if i applied your criterion just because catholics don't say they worship mary as a goddess their actions prove they do same thing, just because you don't say Muhammad is your Rabb, your Lord, and that you don't worship him, your actions prove you do. So do we want to play that game or do you want to go back to the spirit now? The spirit. Okay, let's talk about the spirit because you went, you, you, I followed your tangents. You got me here when the subject yeah. is the spirit. So come back to the spirit. What is it about the spirit? Uh, how can you prove uh, it's part of the Godhead? I mean, the Quran shows that the Spirit is part of the Godhead because Allah breathed out the Spirit, right? Yeah, but if I pick up sand from the ground and I blow it out of my hand, it doesn't mean... King yeah, but me. Allah didn't pick up the Spirit from creation and blew it out. It said He blew it out. Blew it out from where? Uh, the angels do the same. They, uh, at the, 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 day, the angels they... blow out the Spirit? I'm talking about the Spirit, not your Hadith that says... The angel then gives the embryo its soul. I'm talking about in the Quran when it says, when I have made man from clay and I breathe into him the spirit or we breathe into Mary's private part, the spirit, that's not the yeah. same as you picking up sand and going. How can you prove it, sir? I'm, I'm, 66 I'm 12. I don't need to prove it. Your Quran is proving it. Surat al Tahrim 66 12. What did Allah blow? Uh, okay, let me see there. Uh, chapter 66 verse 12. And Mary, who guarded her chastity, and we breathed into her of our spirit. Mm hmm. So who who did the blowing, the breathing? Uh, the spirit. The spirit breathe or Allah breathe? It says we breathe into her of our spirit. Okay, uh, it, I can explain. Uh, we can, can use this by want. looking at. Yeah, we can use this by looking at the pronoun in Islam. We know that Allah was the only one involved in the creation of Adam. That's why He said, "I breathe my." Spirit. So I can show you where Allah even says "we." Yeah, but uh, I'm finished. And then it says, and the spirit says, I will give you. He said, you use the word I, but 
and he is a speaker that just so you're talking about a different passage friend you're all over the map you went from allah and adam and then yeah. the spirit in chapter 19. i'm not asking yeah, you because there in chapter 19 the spirit didn't say i will blow into you it says i came to give you a faultless son i know that passage i'm talking about here who did the yeah. blowing who blew into mary uh the spirit because allah didn't say i didn't like, say the spirit I. says we breathe into her of our spirit so who's the one saying we breathe we breathe didn't say and the spirit breathed into her yeah but uh, the speaker here is allah however the reason allah used the pronoun we is because it's referring to an angel coming down by the command of allah oh you just destroyed tawheed guys i want you to hear what he said i thank you for saying that Often Muslims tell us that the plural we is Allah speaking majestically. But now you just admit the we means Allah and angels are speaking together. So that Allah now includes angels in his speech in the Quran when it's supposed to be the speech of Allah alone. And Allah includes angels in actions that supposedly only Allah performs. Because now I'm going to show you that the we refers to that who created the heavens and the earth. And you just admit yeah, the weakening angels. If you listen carefully, my friend, I said sometimes, not all times. Oh, how convenient. Now it's sometimes. So now show me here in the Quran, in this time, the we is Allah and the angels. Because, this, uh, when, Allah, because when Allah said, I, I created Adam, he used the pronoun I. And the spirit okay, also used the I show you, okay, go, let, let me, let me uh, stop having you play your games. Uh, if I show you, Several plus passage in Quran where Allah goes from I and we using I and we. One second, hold on. Uh, let me call you back. I'm in a live debate. All right. So hold on. Okay, now do me a favor. If I yeah. show you places where I and we are used interchangeably, because that's simply the language of the Quran, where the speaker will speak from first person singular, first person plural. To then second person singular. Here, go to chapter 17, verse 1. Uh, chapter 17, sure. Yeah. Uh -huh. We got kids in the back. Uh, okay. Uh, a glorified be he who took his servant from for a journey by night from Masjid al Haram. To Masjid Al Aqsa, the neighborhood whereof we have blessed, in order that we might show him of our signs. Verily, he is the all hearer, the seer. Okay, who's the he there? God. And who's the we? In order that we might, uh, it's the plural of majesty. So, who is the of we God. though? So, God, God can go God. from we to he, and it's still one God speaking, not God and angels? yeah okay so why are you keep playing the game with me that well see with adam it says i and that shows it's allah but we means allah and angels when i gave you an example that the quran has allah switching pronouns from we and it's still allah to he and it's still allah and to i and it's still allah here i'll give you an example go to 6 1 14. uh 6 1 14. Hmm? the 61 14. 6 114. Okay. Say, shall I seek other than Allah? By the way, the word say is not in the Quran. It's not say. Uh -huh. That's not in the Quran. Kul is not there. Literally, it says, shall I seek? Okay. Yeah. Uh, shall I seek? Okay. So I just want you, before you read it, I want you to make sure you saw it's not a command to Muhammad to speak. It doesn't say, say. That's your English translation butchering the Quran. Doing the very thing to the Quran that the Muslims accuse Jews and Christians of doing to their book. The Arabic simply says, shall I? It doesn't say, cool, say. So, shall I seek, read it slowly. Shall, shall I seek other than Allah while it is he who has sent down into you the book? Explain in detail. Those unto whom we gave the scripture. Okay, slowly. Know that Did you notice the pronouns? Yeah. Shall I seek a judge other than Allah? When he sent down what? The book. And then it says the I can speak in. What does he say next? 
It's those unto whom we gave the scripture. Who's the we? Unto whom uh, we gave the messengers. No, we. Who's the we? We gave. Who's the we? Oh, we gave a God. But wait, uh, the same God who referring. said we just began the verse by saying I. So I now becomes we and becomes he on the same verse. But uh, right here, isn't it supposed to be Muhammad saying it? No, Allah there's, telling Muhammad. no it's not. In, there's not, it's not supposed to be anyone because the Arabic doesn't say cool. Here's what it literally says. I'm going to read it for you. What shall I seek after any judge but Allah? For it is he who sent down to you the book, well distinguished, and those whom we have given the book, notice sent down from thy Lord with the truth, so be now thou of the daughter. So doubter. So the I is speaking. He says, shall I seek after any judge besides Allah? For it is he who sent down to you the book, well distinguished, and those whom we, so the I is still speaking. The I now says, we have given the book. Well, that can't be Muhammad because... Muhammad does not give the book and sent it down. So you have your God, Allah, in the same verse, going from I to he to your to we, and it's the same speaker changing pronouns. What's going on here? Oh, he's the vice guy kind of disconnected.